Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate buffer overflow attack using a sample C code. Using buffer overflow, we can execute a function which was not supposed to be executed. So let's get started. For this example, you will need VirtualBox and Kali Linux 32-bit for VirtualBox. You will also need a vulnerable C program, FBI.C. Link to download this program will be in the description of this video. Now if you take a look at a program, you will see that there are three functions, main, do it and secret function out of which secret function is never called. So the execution will go in the following order. Start, main, do it, main and then end. Our goal is to hack the code and execute the secret function. To compile the program, we'll need to run the following command. This command will compile the program in 32 bit and turn off all stack protection. To run this program, we need to fire the following command. The code will execute. The program takes input from user, stores it in the buffer and displays the output. Now if you take a look at the program, we will notice that we have defined a buffer variable of size 20. So if we enter 20 plus character to input, the program should cause error. Here I have tried input of length 21, 25 and 27. The program executed without any error. but program shows segmentation fault at 28 input characters. So now we know that even if we declare the variable of buffer size of 20, we got 28. You can cross check this by decompiling the object file by using object dump tool. You will see the size of buffer in hex 0x1c which is equal to 28. Now we want the address of a secret function. Using object dump, we can easily find it. We need to note it down so that we can use it in our exploit. Now it's time to design our payload. We know that our buffer size is 28. Considering the following image, we know that base pointer is next to our buffer and next to our base pointer we have written address. So to override the written address of a secret function, we'll first need to override the base pointer. 28 plus 4 is equal to 32. So we need 32 dummy data and after that we need to pass the address of our secret function. So our payload will look something like this. If you directly input our payload, nothing will happen except segmentation fault because our program will process the hex address at the end of our payload as string. So we need to use python to generate payload and pass it to our program using pipeline operator. The following python command will help. As you can see, we have successfully exploited our program. Secret function is now executed. There is a possibility that using this technique, we can even execute code that is outside the program scope. So that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful to you. For more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.